happy Epiphany. Yes, today is the first day of Epiphany. And yesterday was the 12th day of Christmas, so the last day of the Christmas season. So what do we do as Christians to mark this time? Well, first, on the 5th of January, we take down our Christmas ornaments. And on the 6th of January, we mark our doors. We ask for Christ's blessing. This is a ancient tradition that we as Christians do called chalking the doors. And I'm going to invite you how to do this at your home. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then toward the end of this video, we will pray together a blessing for our homes. So what do you need to actually chalk a door? Well, you need a door and you need chalk. It's really quite simple. There's only a few things that go up there. The century, three letters, some crosses, and the year. So let me show you how this year's is going to look. We start with the century, 20, and then we do a plus sign, and a C, a plus sign, and an M, a plus sign, and a B, a plus sign, and the year. That's what it takes to chalk the door. But let me explain to you what I just did here. So obviously I put the century up here, and then we have the sign of the cross listed here. You see that? Because that marks our house because that's who we are. We are people of the cross. But then there's these three strange initials. Well, they're technically initials for three different things, obviously. It is a Latin phrase, Christus, Mansunum, and Benedicat, which is really Christ, bless, our home. But it's also three letters that we have for what we believe are the names of the Magi, the people who we celebrate today coming to meet the Christ child. You have Caspar, you have Melchior, and you have Belshazzar. Now, the Bible doesn't mention three wise men, and it doesn't even mention their names. What we do have is old historical writings, extra biblical writings from the early church, who listed these three names as the names of the three men who came. The only thing the Bible mentions are three gifts. That's it. But we can trust the witness early on that this was prob probably and possibly their names. But more importantly, really the most important is Christ bless our home. That is what we celebrate. That is what we do. And then we put the year up here. So hopefully you can go get a piece of chalk, mark your door just like this, and then go ahead and pause the video because we're going to go ahead and pray together. We do ask that Christ bless our homes here in 2021. And we do so as we pray together over our homes. Oh God, we pray that you will bless this home and those who live here with your gracious presence and that your love may be their inspiration, your wisdom their guide, and your truth their light, and your peace their benediction. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, bless these homes in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Epiphany.